Hello and welcome! In this video we are going to explain how to connect a wireless tilt angle sensor DUBLE to your smartphone and to configure it in the plow mode used to control the work of a snow plow or a grader's blade. Also we will explain how to connect the sensor to your GPS tracker via our BLE RS485 wired adapter and how to configure the reports on a monitoring platform in the most efficient way. Once you open the app, you need to tap on the sensor settings, select Bluetooth connection, and then there are two ways to connect the sensor. Either you scan the QR code on the sensor's cap like this. Now the sensor is connected. Or you can also use the serial number of the sensor. Simply enter it into the search box and tap on the connect button. The sensor is once again connected. Once the sensor is connected, you see the main screen with the following parameters serial number and firmware version, current angle, the operating mode the sensor has been set to, event notification. Depending on the mode, here you can see four types of messages active, inactive, to the left, and to the right. RSSI signal which means the quality of the connection between the sensor and your phone. Battery charge in volts. 3.5 means the battery is fully charged. ID and MAC address of the sensor, which will be used to link the sensor with GPS trackers directly without any adapters, if they support our modified interface protocol Escort BLE. Set zero button, which enables you to establish the reference point for the sensor that marks its operating or inoperating position depending on the mode. It's not used in the rotation modes. And the last one is the status, connected or not. From the main screen, we need to go to the settings. The app will require you to enter the password or to establish one if the sensor is fresh out of the box. By default, the sensor is set to the transportation mode, which has been designed to allow it to save the battery charge while not being used. You need to switch it to the mode you need. Once you have selected the plow mode, you need to set the following parameters. Top down, turn on delay, turn off delay. Top and down parameters are the upper and lower angles, which are used by the sensor to understand whether it is currently in the active or inactive position of the object it is installed on. Turn on delay and turn off delay are timers the sensor uses to understand whether the work is still going on, whether it has stopped, or whether there is a pause in the work. Let's set those parameters at 50 degrees and 20 degrees. These will be our top and down. Turn on delay will be 3 seconds and turn off delay will be 5 seconds. We tap on the set parameters button and go to the main screen. Alright, now the sensor is in the inactive position of a snowplow or a grader's blade. When it moves down and crosses first the top limit and then the down limit, it waits for 3 seconds, which is our 
turn on delay and then starts transmitting the event notification as active. If it moves back from the active position to the inactive one, it stops transmitting the event notification. And you can see inactive on the screen and how it is displayed in the trackers telemetry or on the platform will be covered a bit later. However, sometimes a driver has to lift the snowplow in order to maneuver around the obstacle or make a turn. How to avoid false alarms? Now, if we move the sensor from the active position so that it crosses the down limit, but then we return it to the active position before the turn off delay is out, we can see that the device doesn't stop transmitting the event notification as active. Once the sensor is configured, we can continue with connecting it to a GPS tracker via our wired adapter BLE-RS485 and setting up reports on a monitoring platform. In this example, we are going to use a GPS tracker Smart 2435 by Naftelecom and VLON platform by Gertum. After you have connected the wired BLE RS485 adapter to a converter and then to a laptop, you need to run our escort configurator and go to the BLE section. Here you click on the BLE adapter settings after which you see four different memory slots of the adapter that you can use to connect up to four sensors. To do so, you need to click on the connect another or connect sensor button and then enter the serial number of the sensor like this. Establish the connection and now the sensor is connected. Remember that the sensor is transmitting four parameters, the current angle, event notification, RSSI signal and battery charge. You can switch off the transmission of the last two parameters by clicking on this tumbler. Also, you need to remember that in case all four parameters are transmitted, the adapter occupies two separate network addresses. Those are RS-485 network addresses. Therefore, if you are connecting other devices to your GPS tracker via RS-485 interface, you need to assign them unique network addresses. So be careful what addresses you use for our adapter and other devices. Otherwise, you might get an address conflict, uh, which will result in the corrupted data. Once the sensor is connected to the wired BLE RS485 adapter, we can go to configurating the GPS tracker Smart 2435 by Naftelecom. To do so, we open the configurator and go to the trackers settings. Here, in the protocol settings section, we go to the FLS RS232 and RS485 Bluetooth tab and activate two first sensors. And then we go to the RS232 RS485 tab here in the RS485 part, we select the FLS device type, activate two first sensors. We deactivate the filtration. Uh, if you need to change the network addresses, you should do it here, if you have other devices connected to the tracker. And then load to device, 
is going to reboot. Then we go to the telemetry, select request periodically every one second, and go to the flow and view level sensors tab. The current angle of the sensor is transmitted in the level byte of the first sensor. The event notification is transmitted as the temperature of the first sensor. The battery charge is transmitted as the level of the second sensor and RSSI signal is transmitted as the temperature of the second sensor. In the vertical and horizontal rotation modes, the event notification can have three values, zero, no rotation, one, rotation to the left, two, rotation to the right. In other modes, such as bucket, angle control, and plow, notification can have only two values, zero and one. Zero, the sensor is inactive, and one, the sensor is active. Once you have configured the sensor and connected it to a GPS tracker via our wired BLE RS485 adapter, you can proceed with the setting up of the reports on the Vialon platform. Here's how it's done for the sensor that works in the angle control, plow or bucket mode. You select the object, go to the sensors tab, and create a new sensor. Let's give it a name, inactive. Custom digital sensor. The parameter will be the temperature of the first fuel sensor. Then we go to the calculation table and enter the following values. 0, 0, 001, 0, 0.1, 0, 0 and we create another one let's call it active custom digital sensor the parameter stays the same temperature calculation table should look like this zero 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 one zero one one Point one zero zero. Okay. We have configured the sensors. Now we need to create or customize the report. We created a report called DUBLE. Now we need to add a table and a chart. Let's add a new chart and call it work. The type should be digital sensors. We tick these boxes, sensor, activated, deactivated, duration, location and final location. Let's shuffle them like this for our convenience in the future and go to the settings. Here we tick these two boxes and go to sensor masks. We need to create two different masks. As you can see I'm putting the names of the sensors in between two asterisks. You can type in the name of the sensor fully or partially. If you put the asterisks there will be no issue with that then click OK. And now let's add a new chart. Let's call it work one. And here we need to select custom digital sensors. Go to the settings. We create two masks as well. Active, inactive. Tick these boxes if you need. And then click OK. Now let's execute the report. We need to select the interval with data. 
execute the report. As you can see, you can easily track down when your crane boom or a garbage truck manipulator was active and when it was inactive and for how long. And also you can track down where it started its work and where it finished its work. Now let's go to the chart. And the chart looks like this. Once again, it is a matter of preference. Some customers prefer the chart, others the table. That really depends on you. That's how you configure the reports for our wireless tilt angle sensor DUBLE on the Vialon platform for the plow, bucket, and angle control mode. Now you know how to tune the wireless tilt angle sensor DUBLE in the plow mode, how to connect it to a GPS tracker, configure it on the Bialon platform and set up the reports in the most efficient way. Thank you for your time and attention and see you in the next video.